Hello, everybody. This is Val. With this is how we do it. Hi, everybody. This is Val. With this is how you do it. And I am going to apply my makeup. I do have some coffee with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some wrinkle cream. Like your girl need that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> girl loving these lashes. Y'all, if y'all hadn't seen that, I applied these lashes this morning. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, I did do a video on it, too. I got my sponge <laughs> soaking in some water. So I'm going to put on some foundation this morning. I have my coffee. And I have about four or five different fine foundations over here. Um, They're all from Sephora. But this one right here, I may use as a highlighter. You know, that V-shaped highlighter. I don't know. I may do some contouring. That's what I'm thinking about doing, y'all. <laughs> and I may use this one for my darkness. You know, for the darkness, which I really don't need to do because you can already see that I got a dark thing going on. But I do have a dark... So four, I don't know if that's dark or not. And this one dark too. But it's darker than my skin. It may not look like contouring, but it'll probably be contouring. Because it'll be very subtle. It won't be so obvious that I've done it. Who wants to be obvious? Anyway, I'm going to put this cream on right here underneath my eyes. There's nothing going on with my eyes. It's just something to do to um to protect the eye this is by urban decay okay that's what that's what this is and i'm going to open it up and they give you a little stick y'all to put apply it up on the eye like that let me tilt this mirror down and go up under here in those areas you see where I'm putting it then I'm gonna take my ring finger which one is that this one and go up under here because they say if you use your ring finger it's less pressure on your eye and since since this is spreading so good and it still got some left over my face is still moist up under here I'm gonna go and put some on top of that eye too in case of dark circles and things like that. I don't know if that'll help that. But. It couldn't hurt it right. And I do have a smile line right here. Let me go and put that right there. Okay. Because I still had some on my finger y'all. Use it up girl. Don't let it go to waste. Now we're going to do this out. I don't even know if this one got wet. It did get wet, but it didn't get wet like it would, like the other one was. Now, if you want to have something to put up on your eyes, you go to the store and get you some vitamin A pills, the kind you, you take in your mouth, and if and it, it's a liquid, and you can you can break the, the tip of that liquid, and you can take that vitamin A and put it under your eye like this. And it'll get rid of dark circles. I'm a light stink skinned girl. And I have had dark circles around my eyes before. You know how some dark skinned people have dark circles around their eyes too. But you have seen light skinned girls with those dark circles right there. And some of them, it's so obvious it make it look, it, they look real bad. Now if you use vitamin A oil. On your eye, like what I'm what I'm showing, just the way I did it, it'll get rid of them dark circles. That's a, just a little tip since I'm doing this. And I have had that problem at one time. But you can't even tell, can you? Look. 
Not for real, you can't tell. Mm -mm. But I don't put much under my eyes. Every now and then I do it. Um, so I'm going to turn this light back on. Y'all let me know if that's, I'm just doing too much with the light, y'all. Everybody talk about lighting, 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 lighting. So it make you think you got to have a light on. You feel me? Y'all let me know. See, Val, I like you better without the light. Okay, let's see how many votes we get for the light. How many votes we get for without the light. Okay. Now, I'm going to drink a little bit of this coffee. I keep talking and y'all forget the light even on. I ain't put none on this this side. Well, let's see if it worked. They found out. Well, um, one go away then, and one won't. Oh, have y'all ever tried? Uh, Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. This is just a tester. Oh shoot. Oh it didn't it didn't stop y'all. This is just a tester. You know how you be sleep and then you wake up in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning, then they hear that commercial on by Cindy Crawford, meaning for beauty. This is a sample I got from uh Influenza, they sent out a sample. I did not buy this. This was a, a gift from Fluenza. Okay. I did, and I already did the commercial for them when I first got this. That's say you did a commercial. That's what I call it. When you advertise, and that's a commercial, right? When I, even though they gave it to you free. But I have not got any sponsors. There has nobody ever contacted me and say, they are what you review my product for me and how people be getting free stuff in the mail and stuff like that i think only one person did that let me and it's a you another youtuber i ain't talking about nobody else and i think it was uh your pleasure sent me some stuff and i did a a a, a shout out for her but anybody else like a sponsor time i sent him you wigs and sending you um makeup and sending you lotion and body bath and all this kind of stuff ain't nobody did that but um uh, uh your pleasure and y'all can look up little print look her up and um uh, she really got a lot of stuff over here because she got some stuff over there for the hoo-ha too you say what's the hoo-ha bell you know if you want a vibrator and things of that nature she say all that kind of stuff too you want some sexy lingerie and the crouchless this and crouchless that she said that too I may have to look up her um channel. I don't know if I will, y'all, because I may forget because I'm doing the video. But I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look and see can I find her because I have to go to it, you know, and copy her her link and see can I put it down in the bottom of my description box. I'm gonna try to remember. And if I don't remember, and y'all comment up under, I say, Val, go back and put your pledge link up under your video. Y'all remind me. And um, then come back and and get the link from under my video. Okay. Now I'm put that on. That's a shout out, shout out for her. I bet she gonna be surprised. Mhm. Mm I don't talk much about folks, y'all, because I have so many, and I don't want nobody getting jealous. Y'all go and check her out. That's a nice store now. I haven't been over there. <laughs> Your girl got a little naughty in her. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I don't even know why I was talking about. I was saying that I was saying that to say, you know, I haven't got any sponsors. And I have seen people say Oh, this company sent me this and sent me that. And they got like 900 subscribers, 800 subscribers. And I'm like, why ain't nobody never asked me to do nothing? It's kind of strange. I don't know. Maybe I'm not approachable. What you think? Maybe they say, well, Val, you're not that approachable. And matter of fact, 
even though you got all them subscribers, you don't even get a hundred people to look at your video and it it, it, it takes a couple of days before that happens. Some people get on time, they get on, boom, they got three or four hundred folks to watch their video and they got less subscribers than you. What is that? <laughs> I talk too much. My video is too long. That's probably what it is. They all talk too much. But your girl said a lot of good stuff. That's what I think. Now, I'm going to take this and spread it. <laughs> I'm going to spread it. Because you can even see the stuff once I put it on my face with the light on. I don't think you could. I'm going to spread this. I'm talking too much. Shoot, this will have to be just a foundation video. That's why. It, that's probably why. <laughs> I don't get that many people watching them because they may be so long. Unless they ever start watching my videos and then they like the long videos. Because mm -hmm. I can do a short one now. I can do a short one with the quickness because that's why I used. To, I kind of started out doing short ones. Not really. Because when I started out doing videos, my videos was just for me. And for me to have some kind of therapy while, while I'm talking to y'all, it was therapeutic, as, as, as they say. You know how people try to use that big word, big word, therapeutic, therapeutic. Just get on here and then spend time with y'all. Ooh, that, 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 that's, this is pretty nice because when I wipe this stuff off, it's kind of blended it right in with my skin. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Now this this is a beauty blender, y'all. And this came from original beauty blender. Um, y'all type that in. I guess. Amazon, eBay, Sephora. Man, that'll come up. It gives you an even evenness about your makeup when you use it. See, I still look like I ain't got nothing on, right? I don't even know if I want to contour to tell you the truth. But I will. I said I will, so I will.
Y'all see how it's starting to come out. Now I'm trying to remember move the harshness of the line so it won't look so obvious. See, I want your vote on the on the light situation. And I'm painting on my face like an artist would do it. That's the only way I know how to do it. I don't know how the the makeup people do stuff. I just know how I would like it to look if I was drawing myself. light. I'm using my hand like a canvas. That's why I don't really like to do a lot of contouring because to me it's like artwork and it takes a while and I guess I'd be rushing off my videos he said, Val, I ain't never seen you rush off a video yet. <laughs> well, I guess not. Can't see it. It's all about, all this contouring is about how the light hits you anyway. So that's a good reason about to have the light on because you're supposed to be making your contouring so the light will hit your face in a certain way. That's where you go with that. I hadn't got it all off yet, y'all. I may have to use the beauty blender to smooth it off a little bit. A little more. But when I do mine, you can't really tell that I did contouring. Because I don't like the harshness of contouring. So I do mine very, very light.
And I'm going to get the beauty blender and kind of pat all of that in. That's why I didn't really like showing, like when I do all my my makeup for is uh, my fun day makeups. I don't really like showing how I get there because they are really long videos. Cause I don't just throw the makeup on. But anyway, and then it don't look like I haven't been and did nothing. So now I'm going to put on a primer for my eye, eye makeup. Actually, I could use a bronzer. This is a dark brown bronzer. And then this is a, a gold bronzer. Now I'm going to take the dark bronzer and I'll go over the, uh, the, the dark contouring that I have on my face. And it's just gonna give you that, like you, you know, the darkness that people are looking, be looking for when they say you done contoured. That's all that's gonna do. And it's very light. I'm not doing anything. Okay, that's that. See, that's all I did. And I'll put that back up. Now I'm finna get. That gold bronzer. I'm going to use this. I know you're supposed to clean your face with this. But this is bad with this. is how you do it. You know like the overflow. And I'm going to I'm gonna pat some of this gold. That that going to give you that. Um, that new thing people say that, that you be doing. So, but yeah I'm going to do that. And that's really gold. That's like. That's like a. Egyptian gold. Putting it in places where I wanna want it to shine. Not really shine, but when the light hit it. Like I said, this day I would this how she do it. Mm hmm Put a little gold right there. I already went down my nose, I believe. A little bit on my lip. See? When I lean back, you can see it. But then nothing is obvious. Nothing is obvious. It's really natural. Through with that. Actually, I'm going to hold off on this and get, um... Get one of my pencils out on draw here. Get one of my pencils. A black one. I'm looking for a black pencil. See that? I just made my lips darker. The darker your lips, the diff the different if you have a pink pigmentation on your lips, then this will be lighter. But if you have a darker lip, 
some people have natural dark lips this looks really really good on a natural dark lip This is a ruby, ruby, ruby woo. I only get have gotten two types of lipstick from Mac. I got the ruby woo, ruby woo, and re re woo for Mac. Them the only two lipsticks. And oh yeah, I did get a um a um. Heroin. I do have heroin also. That's it. I just made this ruby rule darker. See? I made it into a darker darker red, a deeper red. That's what I was that's what I was doing just then. And one side of my lip is is up higher than the other, so I make up the difference when I put my lipstick on. I go up on one corner. I have to look in the mirror, look at y'all to see which one is bigger. Try to even them out. A little imperfection that y'all didn't know about. Okay, now I'm going to put on a primer for my, uh, uh, eyeshadow. It's eyeshadow primer. And this is from, um, Urban Decay. I like this because it goes on thin. It's not a a uh, a real white 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 primer. Like I say, I like the subtlety of makeup. Of course, people know you have it on because you you look like you got on makeup, but then it's subtle. I don't like the the obviousness of putting on makeup. Say, so, oh oh, she got on makeup. You know, no. I don't I don't like that kind of makeup. Well, I like it for my fun days. And y'all that don't know about my fun days, I have a playlist called Fun Days. That's when I go all out when I put my makeup on, all kind of different kind of makeup. I do have those days and I stay in character that whole day with that makeup on. If somebody come to my house, oh well. That's what I'm feeling that day. Nobody tell me how to feel. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put my shadows on. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling that smoky eye. I was going to put on... No, no I'm not. No I'm not. I, I wanted to try... I showed it to y'all yesterday, and I said I really like this this uh, cream stuff that that's here. So I'm gonna do that. If I can open this drawer and get it out, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This right here, I think this is so pretty. This is so pretty, y'all. As a transition color. So I'm gonna put this on, just because it's a transition color that I like, and I, and whatever else go with it. Oh well.
this a this is a test. Like I say, I treat my brushes like a like a paint. I do. I was trying to see what's anything any excess on it. So when I use it, I don't want no excess or something else other color that I don't want on it because I haven't washed them yet. So I'm gonna put my transition color on first. I don't normally do that, but I'm doing it this time. Cause I like this color. And this went on kind of thick. And it probably only did that because out of the primer that I have on. The primer is working really good. But it'll all come out in the blending, y'all. I think this is so pretty. Go touch that. This right here, this is the white that I have by that same company. Same, same company. I'm going to put this right up under my uh, eyebrow. If I can open it. Right now, I'm just feeling my way through the shadows that I'm putting on. There's no plan to it. This is fine. I can use this. Finish with that. I'm gonna get a a blue. Like cost cost what I got on, and I probably shouldn't use blue, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is one of my neon colors, by the way. So evidently, I'm putting on some loud colors, right? One of my smaller brushes. I'm tapping out the top. I'm not tapping out of this. Because it's so loud. if you can see that. This is not one of my fun days, so I'm using it at the top. It's going to all come out in the blending, y'all. And I still have no hair on my eyeliner on yet. 
Now I'm going to close this up. So it won't spill any. And I'm holding my eye with my ring finger. Not putting any pressure on it. That's why I don't believe in them sonic brushes. Because if I got to hold my eye with my ring finger, not to put pressure on my eye so I will not get wrinkles here, it don't make no sense to put a brush and screw it around. Even though it makes your, feel, your face feel clean, fresh, scrub to the, to the cleanness, you got to leave some oils in your face. The oils gives your face um, the soft suppleness and keeps you looking young. So... I don't believe in the sonic brush. I'm sorry. If they give me one, I wouldn't use it. If somebody, if a sponsor sent me a sonic brush right now, I would not use it on my face. I just don't believe in it. And I believe that they have not been around long enough to show what would happen to your face in time. It's going to take that person that's using that brush right now, 20 years from now, to see what their face is going to look like. To see the wear and tear of a sonic brush on a on a face. I just don't believe you're supposed to have that nothing that hard, even though they say it's not hard. Buffing your face like a car. Clean it with a buffer, then buff it with a buffer. I just don't believe that. Because you're supposed to pat your face dry with a washcloth. They say the ruffles in a washcloth, if you rub your face, will put lines in your face, will put wrinkles in your face. A, a terry washcloth. They say you're supposed to pat with it. You're not supposed to rub with it to keep the wrinkles out your face. So that's why I can't believe in a sonic brush, y'all. I just, I just can't see that. And I'm sorry if I offend anybody that done bought them one and they spent almost $200 for one. Just because something is expensive and just because somebody say that it, it does a certain thing, that don't necessarily mean that it's going to be good for you. That's just my opinion. And I have a right to that, I'm sure. You know, and you have a right to your opinion. That on how fabulous it has been taking care of your face. But what's going to happen in time? We're talk I'm talking about time. I ain't talking about the right now. I am, I'll be 55 on my birthday in January. And, a, and something like that in my face, do you think I would still be looking like I'm in my 20s? If I would use something like that on my face? You say, Val, get out of here. You don't look like you're in your 20s. Baby, look again. I look better than some 20-year-olds. Look again. I didn't do that at 20. I didn't put that shit in my face at 20 because it didn't exist. I'm just saying. Yeah, you black and black don't crack. That may be true, but black got to have sense. It'll crack if you keep uh, drilling holes in it. That's just another story. I'm finna put my eyeliner on, yeah. Now, y'all, maybe I should go and use my blending brush first. Because I don't want to forget a step because I'm talking to y'all. This right here is too hard. This is too hard. This blending brush don't have enough for, enough for this on it. It's a cheap blending brush. Maybe one day I get one of them big fluffy ones, but this blending brush is too hard for this right here, what I'm doing right here. I can feel it pushing into my eyeball. So if this is too hard, that sonic brush is damn well too hard. I'm I'm doing this so light because this is too, it don't have enough, enough padding in this to put on my face. 
That's why people are so into brushes when they do their makeup. That they will get the right kind of brush to do the right thing when they put their makeup on. This needs to be bigger and fluffier to blend my makeup. Because of the pressure that it's putting on my eye. And, and I don't really have anything... That's a little too rough, y'all. You can't treat your your face like you treat your hands. And even with your hands, you still put lotion on them and you rub them and all of that good stuff. To keep them soft, put oils on them. Now let me go and put my... Uh, my eyeliner on watch closely I want y'all to see it And I'm not pushing this in my face. I'm doing this very light. This 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 brush right here is not jabbing into my skin. I got a light artist hand. Now I'm going to do this one without the light. I guess I'll just look at you and do this, not look in the mirror. I'm actually u using the camera lens to put this makeup on. Because I don't want to look down.
Y'all don't see what's going on. See that? The, the camera's in reverse, that's why I have to keep trying to figure out what I'm doing. Makeup you put on there, the older you look. I know it, child. Child, just throwing it on with the quickness. I hear you. Going toward 30 now, right? <laughs> Getting legal now, right? <laughs> And I'm doing it very lightly, very lightly. And look at the contouring on my nose and, and right there. That makeup is not heavy. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do with my eyebrows. I could just use the the the, uh, the little comb to push that up. But other than that, I'm through, hun. Mm mm. That's all she need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I need to get off this. I wanted to do my hair, but <laughs> this video is damn long. <laughs> and I think that's all I'm going to do to my hair, my, my face, y'all. This is what I look like with the light. Then the light just make a look. And this is the shadow look. This look like you got a gap in it. And this is Val. This is how you do it. With another great video. I'm going to pick out some earrings and come back and do my hair. I have been on here almost an hour. You say, well, Val, you might as well stay on a little longer. But I ain't going to do y'all like that. I'm going to go and upload this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Um makeup video. Bye y'all.